What's up guys? I hope everything is going well. Welcome to this week's video where I'm going to get a little bit fancy on you. So for this week's video, I wanted to try something new. Now one of the big benefits of starting this YouTube channel for me has been the fact that I can choose something that I'm maybe not 100% clear or sure or confident about and I can really put some time into studying that or learning that or trying that to share the results with you. Hopefully they turn out good, but if they don't, I've got you out there who who are on this journey with me, who can help guide me, give me some suggestions, and make sure that we're all going on that same path of achieving excellence. Now, as you can see right here this week, I wanted to try something new, which I would consider fine art photography. I'd started seeing a few pictures posted on Instagram of flowers, and that was something that was always kind of strange to me. I guess when I was a kid and I first started photography, I did take a lot of pictures of flowers, but that was mainly because that's what everyone did. You went outside and you cranked the aperture and you, you got some real close-up macro shots of the flowers. In fact, I specifically remember using this camera growing up. It's super dusty because all it does is sit on a shelf now. This Canon PowerShot A630. If you can see, it's a whopping eight megapixels. Pretty impressive if I say so myself. But I have a ton of good memories of waking up in the morning after the sprinklers had gone off and crouching down in the garden and taking some pictures of flowers, but that's never anything I've taken seriously or really put a ton of effort into trying. So the way I approached it was to keep it as simple and affordable as possible. The camera I used was my Mamiya RB67, which I already had. I used a roll of Fuji Acros 100 that I already had. I used this newer TT560 Speedlight, coupled along with a PC sync cable so I could trigger the flash through the RB67, and I diffused the Speedlight through a 48-inch newer octagonal umbrella softbox. So the only thing that I really had to buy was the flower. And I don't know anything about flowers. So I went to the local floral shop that I used to go to all the time when I wasn't single as fuck. And I told them that I didn't know anything about flowers, but that I wanted to take some fine art classy images of something that would look good in black and white. And that's what we ended up choosing. I think it was called a gladolia, a gladiola. I'll type it down here. I can't remember what it was called. All I know is that when I went in, the only flower I really knew the name of was a magnolia, and that's just because of the movie. But after doing all this, I actually really would like to give this a try with like a lily or something like that. Anyways, when I got the flower, it wasn't 100% bloomed. They said that it could take two to 10 days to fully bloom. So I kind of thought it would be cool to take one picture every day for 10 days to kind of track and document its progress growing. But after the first day, it actually had bloomed enough that I ended up taking three pictures. And then the next day I was scared that if I didn't finish off the roll, it would start dying. So the second day, which was the third day that I owned the flower, but the second day that I shot, I ended up finishing off the roll and I wanted to try a few different things to maybe get creative. So I, I did end up taking quite a few pictures spraying it with a water bottle, but all in all, I think I actually prefer the simplicity and the minimalist nature of the first day's photo when it wasn't wet. But I'll let you see the pictures, you can make up your own mind, and let me know which pictures you prefer.
So what'd you think? Like I said, I think I prefer the first ones just because they're more minimalist. But that is one of the best parts about photography is the subjective nature. So comment down below, let me know which photo was your favorite. This was a fun change of pace, trying something new that I'm not really used to and being able to really play with the lighting and seeing how the lighting interacted with the flowers. And once I was done shooting, I gave the flower to my mom and I think she really liked it. But also if this is a type or style of photography that you're really into or that you do a lot, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to follow you. I'd love to learn more. Let me know if you have any suggestions on things I can try if I ever venture out and try it again. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I put a lot of energy into these videos and it really makes me happy when people watch them. And my favorite thing about the YouTube film community is just how tight knit and an actual community it is. This has been an awesome platform to document my growth and to learn a lot from you guys. So subscribe and stay tuned because I'll see you next week.